Let's dive into a topic that's often overlooked but carries immense weight in our lives. Emotions. Yep, those tricky little buggers that have a knack for making us feel vulnerable, confused, and sometimes downright uncomfortable. And if you're a guy, you might have noticed that expressing emotions isn't exactly encouraged in our society. But what if I told you that embracing your emotions could be the key to unlocking a whole new level of power in your life? Intrigued? Well, grab a seat and let's explore why men find it so darn hard to be emotional and why showing emotion is actually a superpower waiting to be unleashed. First off, let's address the elephant in the room, societal expectations. From a young age, boys are often taught to suppress their emotions. We're told that showing vulnerability is a sign of weakness, that real men don't cry, and that emotions are best kept bottled up inside. It's no wonder then that many men grow up feeling disconnected from their emotions, unsure of how to express themselves authentically. But here's the thing. Emotions are a fundamental part of being human. They serve as our internal compass, guiding us through life's ups and downs. When we suppress our emotions, we're essentially cutting ourselves off from valuable information about our own experiences and needs. It's like trying to navigate a maze blindfolded. Sure, you might stumble your way through, but you're bound to miss out on a lot of important insights along the way. Now, I get it. Opening up about your feelings can be intimidating. It requires vulnerability, and let's face it, vulnerability can be downright terrifying. But here's where the magic happens. When we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, we create space for connection, growth, and healing. Think about it. How many times have you felt a weight lift off your shoulders after finally opening up to a friend or loved one? There's a reason why they say a problem shared is a problem halved. But the benefits of emotional expression go beyond just feeling better in the moment. Research has shown that people who are able to express their emotions in a healthy way tend to have stronger relationships, better mental health, and even improved physical well-being. In other words, embracing your emotions isn't just good for your soul, it's good for your overall quality of life. So, how do we start tapping into this superpower of emotional expression? It all begins with awareness. Take some time to check in with yourself regularly. Notice how you're feeling at any given moment. Are you angry, sad, anxious, or maybe even happy? There's no right or wrong answer here just a chance to cultivate a deeper understanding of your own inner landscape. Once you've tuned into your emotions, the next step is to find healthy outlets for expression. This could mean journaling, talking to a trusted friend or therapist, or engaging in creative activities like painting or music. The key is to find what works for you and to give yourself permission to feel whatever it is you're feeling without judgment. Now, I won't sugarcoat it. Opening up can be scary, especially if you're not used to it. But remember, vulnerability isn't a sign of weakness, it's a sign of courage. It takes strength to be honest with yourself and others about how you're really feeling. And the more you practice, the easier it becomes. So here's the bottom line. Showing emotion isn't something to be ashamed of, it's something to be celebrated. It's a superpower that has the potential to transform your life in ways you never imagined. So go ahead, let those tears flow, laugh until your sides hurt, and wear your heart on your sleeve. Because when you embrace your emotions, you're not just showing strength, you're unleashing a whole new level of power into your life. In conclusion, my friend, remember this, you are not weak for feeling, you are human. And there's nothing more powerful than that. Here's to embracing our emotions and unleashing the superpower within. And that brings us to the end of today's video. If today's discussion sparked any thoughts, questions, or even your own experiences, we would absolutely love to hear from you. Please feel free to drop your thoughts and insights in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel, but don't forget to hit that bell icon so you're always in the loop with our daily videos. This is another video from Narrative Minds.